Greetings everyone, Lincoln Sir Knight here, and today we're doing a review on a gun I've been waiting a very long time for. And it just so happened one of my buddies had one and was willing to part with it, so... We are going to be reviewing the Tokyo Motori MWS CQBR. It's a lot of acronyms, I know. Block 1. So, we bought one off of my buddy, and I've already made a few modifications to it. Well modifications, I say, but predominantly external. He did all the internal work to upgrade it from HFC 134 to propane, so basically you have a very short M4. As you can tell, the barrel's been knocked down quite a few. And this does unscrew, but it doesn't use the normal 14mm adjustments, it uses the 12mm. Uh, so my sound hog, unfortunately, is not going to fit on this without some work or adjustments. Here's your front side post, it does come with a back little set rear sight. We've taken that off because we're not going to be doing crazy co-witnessing with anything more than the front sight post. We put our peck box on here. It's a bit of extra weight and the laser doesn't drop low enough for the CQB use. Not that you'd be using it for CQB anyway, but it's an option. It's a nice option too. As you can see here, and the most important part, the bolt, he's actually swapped it out with an aluminum propane use. Golden Bolt, although he did also give me the original, so we can't always set back down to HFC. If we want it to be relatively expensive, well, just to shoot the gun, but it's a cool option. It's nice to have, so I've got a target in the other room, and we're going to run a mag on propane. As you can see, these mags do fit. I borrowed one from his. He wasn't really in par with it, but mine are still in the mail, so I borrowed his just to make sure it works with the mag pouches and everything, and we'll probably, as per recommendation, actually get those little Pansu mag pulls in the near future. So we'll have a few of those going. We've also got a, since it only holds 35 rounds per magazine, we're probably also going to get the tag modular, was it the combat sustainment pouch? That's the one. We'll throw that on our back. It'll give us three extra mags and some room for other stuff we really don't need, but we want nonetheless, because we got to look cool. So we also spray painted the stock from brown to black for some reason. I mean, I'll probably get all that scrubbed off in the future and get cleaner. Hopefully I'm not getting a crazy black marks on my face with the cheek while I was trying to get it all off earlier, but yeah, it's got a little magpul stock that either it came with or he put on, I don't remember, one of the two, STR, and I do have the Colt, little markings here by the way, so property of US government, except not really, property of me, M4A1, carbine, 556, and I think there's a little serial number, but yeah, so you can ignore that property of US government part because uh, the forefathers may or may not flip out, so you got your standard safe semi full auto. We can only be put in safe when the uh, pin is back, so if we click it, you get a little click there, there, and now we can no longer set to safe because it's disengaged. But we just go ahead, we pull this back, and we're once again ready to go. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to cycle some of the propane through here real quick. So we take our mag, actually, safety first everyone! Always go safety first. So what we're going to do is where is my trusty handy dandy helmet? Now today we have magic gold ribbons because they help our, uh, they literally float our BBs over to the target for us so we don't have to try as hard because that's the whole point, right? So go ahead, we're going to put this on our dome. I'm still waiting for those new pads to come in, unfortunately. Chin strap. All right, we're starting to feel relatively safe. Throw our goggles down. Ah, there we go. And protect our ears from the, uh, the super loud and scary PTSD inducing propane, according to, um, certain people in the media industry. Now we're gonna turn this on so I can actually hear what I'm doing. Hey, there we go. So everything is actually very, very dark in here and it's kind of scaring me, so. That's all good. Everything's there. We got our mag. We grab the pew pew now. The other thing we're still worried about is we're gonna to need to get this mount through a sling. There are sling mounts back here. I've heard recommendations that I should put a little clip adjuster in my uh, sling mount it back here and also put a little clip up here that I can mount that to. I have a very easy to maneuver CQB two point sling, so we'll try it out in the future. No guarantees now. These are already fogged up, I can't see. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our mag, like so. We're gonna put that in there. Make sure everything's solid. Rack it, and what we're basically gonna do now is we're going to shoot a target that you guys can't see, so let me turn that on. Okay, cool, and it was shooting high, so we're going to put on our laser that we've adjusted for this range. And we're basically going to shoot this target, and hopefully everything will go well. So, let's get started. 
Oh, that knocked the laser off. That's not good. Okay, first update. <laughs> the kick of the propane is actually destroying this uh, peck box. So it's turning off the laser with each shot. Yeah, it's... <laughs> the kick is too much for the laser. Oh my god. So the laser's garbage. <laughs> We're going to be taking this off. Actually, maybe the light's okay? Let's uh, see if we can keep the light on. Okay, light works. So small victories. We're shooting way off to the right, by the way, but... You know, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get test out the full auto. We only got a few rounds left, and then you can see the bolt lock back if you never played with the gas bullet back before. So we go here, and we go... I hope this isn't so loud that's driving the neighbors crazy, because everything I'm doing is muffled to me actually do that so I can hear. Oh yeah, the neighbors are gonna love that. So we still got a round left, it looks like. I think we're running out of propane. Yeah, we're out of propane, so... Alright, so we got a few VVs left. Let me just go ahead and uh, see if we can gas this boy up real quick here. So that wasn't expected. Like I said, these are his mags, they're a bit older. I'm sure that's safe. And yes, we're just going to go ahead and resume firing, so... There we go. Yeah, so... And that's all of our BBs. So as you can see, we're out. Locks the bolt back. And you're generally in search of new mag and send the bolt home, so... Pretty cool, pretty nifty. We're going to re-index, to use our fancy words here. And yeah, we're solid, so this needs to come off. I'll just put a lightweight flashlight there if that's all it's going to be good for. And yeah, so that's pretty nifty. Turn that off too. All right, so apparently our magic schoolgirl ribbons do not make our rounds, well, continuously shoot, although they do keep them firing. Ugh. It's nice and cool in here. Where's my... Where's my glasses? I can't see without my glasses. Jinkies. All right, so we're back. And uh, we basically machine gun down the target. The kick is fairly sufficient. And actually, let me go grab that from the other room. So it's not that I wasn't aiming. It's that full auto tends to do that. <laughs> and I was aiming for the head, mind you, but the sight's just way off and the laser didn't want to play around. I think these two or three here are actually from using the laser. So the laser's not bad, but uh, yeah. If it gets kicked off every time we pull the trigger, it's gonna be pretty much useless to us, even for target shooting. Well, I'll probably use our Ozark for that case, but. Yeah, oh, so. Oh my God. Which time are we even on? It doesn't tell me. Nifty, it just keeps recording. So yeah, ultimately, this is a really cool gun. I'm looking at it for a while. I'll probably find a way to get an adapter to put the um, CQB thing. As you can see, it's a very, very short barrel, so when you collapse the stock and everything, you can very easily sneak in the old school. <laughs> I don't want to say Rambo, because Rambo's more so about the emotional despair of being a badass who can't leave the war field or the battlefield behind. But you can do that little hip fire thing, you can keep it in close. And once we get a stock going, we'll be able to just real quick up, pop up, pop up, pop up, pop. And yeah, so I'll get this off here because that's just dead weight to me right now. Oh, the light's still on. Hey! Hey, -o. How many batteries do you think have been killed by IR lights just because people can't see that they're on? Probably a lot. Anyway, so cool little gun in all ways, shapes, or form. I like the tan butt stock. I like putting tan accessories on my gun, if you've never noticed before. We got a little dot sight. We'll probably get that zeroed in properly at some point. I mean, it's zeroed, but it is zeroed for my old gun, so. This one was cool. I'm glad I was able to get a hold of it. I'll definitely swap out this uh, bird cage here. And yeah, we'll probably start pulling stuff off and making it look all sorts of cool, but yeah. Propane is cheap to run and fantastic, so. I guess now that we're nearing the end of the video, I can give you a fun little history for those of you... Well, long before I even got a camera, I had an AK-74U airsoft-wise. I actually only got to fire an M4 officially once for like two weeks on a range. 
and oh my god, compared to that nonsensical M16, we'll probably be able to get this on a sling, throw that over our back and get out of the way, and that'll give us room to access our handgun. Yeah, I actually like how like light it is. Most of the weight's actually just coming from this box up here. And we actually put a mag in. The mag's got a good deal of weight that helps balance everything back out. The stock actually has a wee bit of weight to it, so it actually, when you got the gun set up like this, it actually all sort of fits nicely and well balanced and everything. So, really nifty, again, like I said a thousand times here. And the short barrel is, okay, so AK-74U, I got a short barrel, well, AK because I like my little stubby guns, and they're great for all the CQB combat, especially when you're in Japan, where you're going to be doing not much more than CQB combat, so you're just keeping the stock up like on your shoulder or whatever, so the key techniques. When you have the nonsensical M4s, you have people doing techniques like this to clear buildings, and it's definitely not optimized for that. You can still do it, but yeah, it's, um, it's going to be a pain, so this is a nice little option to have. The full auto is good. 30 rounds doesn't sound like a lot, but... You just gotta make them count, is what it comes down to. Which is why you can carry three mags extra and still be pretty well off, but if you're doing like a longer respawn game, you're gonna want to carry extra. Or have someone who can refill everything of an ammo guy in charge of, well, ammo, so. So yeah, we went from our AK-74U, which is a battery gun, and then my buddy got me into gas blowbacks. And the first thing we ended up getting was a VZ-61. I think that's when I actually got my first camera and started actually doing videos. But I really like the ability to combine the VZ-61 and a hand cannon of some sorts to pop 40mm 40 40mm grenades to blast people up close. Except I was playing way too timid, I never really got close enough to use it, so it was mostly just using it for covering fire, but it was cool. I liked being able to run that, but the gas mags again, I was really using the full auto, less so to be effective, but more so because it was fun. I mean, show me someone who doesn't like full auto and I will show you a liar. And uh, yeah, so... I like that, and then my buddy got me into the MP7. And I bought an MP7, and I was like, oh hey, MP7's pretty cool for a really small, unique sort of center fire submachine gun. And then everyone got a MP7, and I wasn't the cool hipster kid anymore. I was like, just one of the masses, and I couldn't take it, so. <laughs> now my buddy uh, in the States is my old MP7 now, he's taking care of it. But yeah, MP7 was really cool, but I always liked submachine guns, particularly for Japan, because of how often you just have tight quarters, it's almost all the time. You're never going to really be using a sniper rifle unless you're the one kid who's at the field who's just a witch of some sort, who's just like, pop, 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 and you're like, how, dude? How are you doing that? It's insane. In close quarters, taking everyone out with like their M4s and submachine guns and stuff with a sniper rifle. But yeah, so I like sniper er, submachine guns. And this is kind of a nice little balance, because you get the, more realistically, you get the rifle power with a uh, stubby sort of setup. We're really being able to poke corners and everything and move around and do all the cool stuff that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise and being able to stay mobile. This is actually pretty hefty for what it is, but it is nice and it's just recently been clean, so... Yeah, so basically, I've always liked the shorter guns. I like, well, I'm a shorter person to begin with. I keep the camera at its own unique angle so you can't tell unless you know me in person. But yeah, 5.9 is not too bad, but yeah, I'm shorter than most of the people out here, so... And a nice short little gun, being able to compact up and do things is nifty, so. Ultimately, I'm very happy. It's shooting nice. And that's really most of what you can ask for. And we're probably going to... It's got a bayonet lug, so let's be honest, we're going to need a bayonet. In the near future, so. That's more or less what I have for you guys in regards to this. If you haven't seen them or got to play with them, they are very nice. We got many recommendations when I was looking for a new gun. And I opted for gas blowback because the kick of the bolt does a lot of nice psychological things for you, and it brings back old happy memories, although now it's the pungent wretch of propane. Yeah, I'm not Hank Hill, if you were wondering. I like it. I don't like it that much. Pungent hint of propane, as opposed to, I mean, if you compare propane to cordite, you're always going to want cordite and spent brass as it smells. I mean, there's a body spray right there. I swear to God, it's got to be somewhere. It's a mar missed marketing opportunity if they don't have it. But my god, is it nice. And I'm probably going to be shooting this thing all day, and the wife's going to be very upset, but... Mmm, happy feels. So, this gun fills me with joy. We'll get a sling going on here. We'll probably, actually, we got some room for a sling mount right up there. So we'll get a sling adjusted to it, and then, for those of you who have stayed watching the video this long, I think you should know that next up 
we will be doing a Tokyo Marui Glock 19 review, because the Glock 19 is spiffy. Lots of people like them. It's not much different from the 17, except internally. They completely revamped it, Tokyo Marui wise but we'll be getting that, and we'll be seeing if it fits the holsters I have, because I've got a Glock 17 holster and the Glock 20 holster, because they tend to have the wider slide, so... We'll see what happens there. I've got plenty. Like, Jesus. I have so many extra pistol mags, and I just got them set up here on the side of the plate carrier. But this will be really useful, because when you're doing tang 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 clink, oh no! It's very going to be very easy to just let the weapon drop. It's going to hit the mag pouches here, and we will draw our handgun and be able to go pop, 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 pop. And if we do happen to run out of front mags, and there's no way to get my back mags because I've been neglecting my flexing exercises, then uh, we'll be able to pull out the handgun, we'll be able to go, we'll, put, we'll basically just take this, We'll sling this door back and go clink. We'll tighten it nice and down. Actually, not that way. We're gonna have to do it a different way. We'll find some way to where it stops hitting my mag my uh, handgun holster here. We'll lock that door back. I guess we just well, let me figure this out here. This isn't gonna bother me. We'll I guess we can just slide it under that way, huh? It'll be in the way of the handgun mags, but we can get it to set up some way that way. Hang down there. Ooh, actually. Yeah, ninja style. We'll get that down there and we'll draw our handgun and we'll have access to our mags. So, when everything's going horrendously wrong, we can still pop handgun mags and keep it going. So, honestly, I'll probably just take the gun off and put it in a corner and draw the handgun. It's going to be faster if we're out of mags, so. Yeah, cool little, cool little rifle. Nail says the... Cheracote? Characete? I don't know. Terracote, I don't know how you pronounce it. I honestly don't know, but it's got the nice coating. So my buddy's actually had this gun for several years, and many, as you may have noticed, it still looks really, really new, and that's all thanks to the coating. The coating does fantastic work. Ooh, I really like the feel of that button, too. Mag release is fantastic on this thing. But yeah, we'll definitely keep it short. I know a lot of people like to put long suppressors on here, but that's not the point of a shorter weapon. I guess we could, but we're not going to do much about the sound coming out of here, but it'll be pretty cool. And yeah, so that's basically what we got. I'm excited. I've got my gun, I've got my pew pew stick, and we'll be able to get some pew pew in here in the near future. And well, again, as we're further approaching the end of the video, I'm sure some of you may be wondering where my hair went. And uh, one, shampoo is a conspiracy. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. They're just trying to push big shampoo on you. Probably get you with that conditioner too, but shampoo's a conspiracy. Two, it's always too hot. My head's always way too hot. And I just, well, that's just my head in general. It's too hot. This plate carrier's hot. But there's this little cool spot, like right here. And that's what's keeping me going, fam. That's what's keeping me going, so. Ooh. There it is. There's that little gun caddy carry that I really like. That feels good. He's gonna lock around. Yeah. I'm nonchalant security detail. <laughs> But yeah, so, that's really comfy. I'm gonna, my wife's gonna be pissed when I bring this to bed later today. But yeah, so, we'll get a handgun, we'll get a nice little rifle, we got a bunch of mags on order, and, uh, additionally, we ended up mysteriously getting a Garmin GTX 401, so, that's a thing. And I should have been playing around with that just to wander around, so. We've gone from a review to kind of a rant, so we'll throw something in the video description. Gun review plus rant. My god, I just want to keep shooting it. Ooh. So what happens if, I love that noise, my god, it's doing things for me. Push the forward exists for no reason, maybe it helps, we're probably not going to get too many double feeds going, but you know. But yeah, we'll do a bit more work on here, mostly getting that paint off. And we'll get a sling, because slings are one of the most important things you can have. We'll get this dead weight off the front of my gun, and I guess we'll just put a lightweight flashlight there. Maybe you just buy something cheaper. We're not doing too many night games, but it's always nice to have a blinding strobe at the ready. So there's that. Radio set up, we're all good. Helmet's ready. So yeah, we're basically ready. Once those mags and new gun come in, we're ready to go pew 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 all through the night. So maybe not too much 2018, but the upcoming 2019 will be fun. So anyway, I do believe we've run run about long enough. I don't know if you want to see any cool thingles or things with this gun. Loads propane from the bottom. It's nothing too fancy with the magazine. Just loads in from the top. Gas. Your normal stuff. So, 
Cheers everyone! Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be here getting ready to do more fun things in the near future. And as always, stay chivalrous, noble viewer. Cheers! The button back here somewhere.